back YouTube. By popular decree, I've made this video, my pipe collection. Got eight pipes here, as we can see. I'm going to take a look at the first four here and show you what I got. It's in my display case that I keep on my shelf. Now, this first one here is my first pipe I've ever had. It's a Mario Grandi. It, uh, they're made in Rome, in Italy, and they're sold on eBay. I'll put a link down below where you get some Mario Grandi pipes. They're all one of a kind. Uh, so they only make one model uh, for each pipe they make. They don't make any more of the same pipe. As you saw, it stands up. It has a flat bottom, so it's like a poker type with a more fancy uh, black stem. Moving on, we here have an Eric Nording. Nice black, silver band, and marbleized black and white stem. I bought this particular uh, pipe in Las Vegas at the Davidoff store in the Venetian Hotel. Uh, they had a lot of nice stuff there and a lot of nice pipes. Uh, this one kind of stood out to me. It was a little bit different. Didn't really have a pipe like this before. And I know Eric Nording has a good reputation. Now, this is my favorite pipe. This is a Joe Case pipe. Um, he started making, I believe, in 2011. And um, this was a pipe he made for himself, but I convinced him to sell it to me. Nice little silver dot there, his signature. Um, and then his signature at the bottom the date and his logo joe case there uh, my favorite pipe great for flake awesome for flake tobacco uh, one inch diameter bore and about an inch and a half maybe an inch and a quarter uh, deep so it's a nice big hefty bowl good hour hour and a half smoke the next one here is a ben wade nice rustication there um, really goes with the grain. I haven't seen much rustication that follows the grain itself. As you can see, it's more of a wave uh, rustication rather than just simple dimples. Uh, black vulcanite stem there. Needs a little bit of polish. It's a little bit uh, fading out there. A little bit of corrosion. Close this up here. And we'll move on to uh, here is another Mario Grandi pipe. Um, has a very different shank and stem. As you can see, it starts small, flares out flat, and uh, the stem really just continues from the shank itself. It's formed uh, perfectly like that. Uh, V-shaped, and as you can see, the engraving on the front there is more like a C, a nice little Baroque type design there. Now, here's my big boy. This is a Joe Case pipe I had commissioned for me. Uh, black rustication, smooth top and bottom. It's a one inch diameter hole and a two inch deep bowl. Total height of the bowl is three inches. I'm, uh, and uh, let's see here, the shank, you see it's a natural smooth finish and a long green stem. As you notice, most of my pipes have the softy bits on them. Really cool. I like to grasp it in my teeth. And you saw the signature, his date, and his logo at the bottom. Now every pipe smoker should have one of these. It's a 7LE 320. This is the champagne uh, version here, just uh, the finish. Uh, as you can see here, awesome for flake tobacco. I think it's a 7 8 inch bowl. Uh, not too deep, so it's great for you know some of the flakes. You got the, the balsa filter, which is known by 7 Ellie. Yeah, I just grab a few flakes, fold them in half, fold it again, just shove it in there. Really easy since it has a nice big wide bowl, right? A good half an hour, 45 minutes smoke. Now, we got a big magnum here. This is another Mario Grandi, like the first one I showed. Uh, I think it's a one-inch bowl, maybe seven-eighths, and uh, maybe an inch and a half deep. Uh, softy bit there, really big, wide uh, stem there, big stem with the silver band there. Uh, nice bird's eye finish there. It's a little bit of sunburst, like a burl. So that's all my pipes. I have a few more church worn by McQueen's, which are made here in Canada. If you guys want any more of these reviews, just please let me know. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Private message me if you want anything in particular. Um, and as always, guys, keep on reading.